According to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's 4-3-3. Uh, yeah, Peter, you can look at this formation one minute and think that it is 4-3-3, and the next time you check, it'll be 4-5-1. And it's all to do with whether you've got the ball or not, and the wider attacking players being asked to apply defensive discipline too. When it does turn to a five across midfield, then the shape of this team takes on a much tidier, compact defensive look. So off we go then. Goes direct to the front line. In it comes. He proceeds it all the way. Hoists it forward. Put offside that time. And it's Traore. He's had a go! Oh, he's really drilled it. And it's played forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Goes to finish! In for the follow-up! Oh, didn't catch it right. OK, it's come to nothing, but it's a warning of further threat on the break. Now the counter. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? No, that's too long. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Played into the heads it! He will be livid with himself. All he'll be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. Forward it goes. Traore. No goals as yet. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Timely intervention. The referee's awarded a free kick. And he's going to have his name taken. Keeper sends it forward. That's not going to make it. Tries lifting it over. Made sure that that won't get through. Tried to play it through. 
Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Traore. Gets good distance on it. And that's a throw. Interceptions have we seen now? Someone's got to up the quality and, and set an example. Good challenge, he just stood firm, and the counter is on. And the first half is done, so now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. Been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. So your views on the first half? Yeah, it's a half that's had a, a limp finish after a decent start, so the manager has to re-energise and re-enthuse his players to come back out pumped. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil-nil. And we are already promptly back on the way. Nil-nil then, and we're back on the way. And that's found its target. In with a header! Really well taken goal. The second half off to a spectacular start. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. So we have our breakthrough. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Time and again, they are repelled. And now the breakaway. Gets the better of his man. And he just whacks it away. Corner kick. They've played it short. Plays it out to the wing. A real chance to break. Right through the middle. Put a stop to that. Traore. Over to the left. Whipped in. And he's there to cut it out. That's been drilled forward. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. How about a shot? <laughs> Your impression so far, Jim? Well, while the temptation's always there, Peter, I think it would be ill-advised of them to try settle for a what they've got. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. Played towards the front men. Done very well to intervene. Forward it goes. 
Traore. Looking to get shot at goal! Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Traore. He's in! He's gone for it! Oh, taken with style! And surely now, the result's beyond doubt. His position was perfect, the invitation was there for him, and his response absolutely clinical. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Mali get themselves a two-goal cushion. It's a long ball, and it's not hit its target. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honour shift. He's picked him out, hits one! And that's a real chance missed. Yeah, this is part of the job, head down and keep plugging away. It's been taken short. Heave to the back post. Gets up to head it! Good delivery, no joy. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to, uh, to pick out. Quick drop, and the shot! No mistake! Late drama, late goal! This will be one frantic ending! And you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been, go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. We have got ourselves a game here. Marley just have to run down the clock. Just brushed off the ball there. Board shows there will be three extra minutes. Pinged forward. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. And that is that. Mali winners by the odd goal. It really could have gone either way, but a win is a win. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? When you get free-flowing football...